Hey guys and welcome to episode 16 of my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Let's Play. Today we're doing the 100cc Special Cup with Yellow Shy Guy. Our first race is Cloud Top Cruise and we should win. Um, the car I'm using, to, well the car combination I'm using today, we have the... I can't actually remember what it's called, but the one that's kind of like a shoe. We have the GLM wheels which are another thing from the Mercedes DLC which I think we used the cart from that on the flower cup yeah one of the cart there's three different Mercedes carts but I think we used the W25 Silver Arrow and then for the glider as you can see we're using the Hylian Kite now we obviously have covered this track before and I probably mentioned it but it's one of my favourite musics in the game I should not have got hit by that lightning. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that second lightning because it was really close to getting me. So that's strange. Right, I'm gonna see if I can do this shortcut. Yep, we succeeded. I don't always manage that for some reason. It's not too difficult. Well, it doesn't look too difficult, but I seem to find it quite difficult for whatever reason. I don't remember finding it difficult on the original Mario Kart 8 though, so I'm not sure about it. Let's go this way this time, because I'm pretty sure we went the other way last time. Even though we did do a lot of the routes around maps in 50cc, I still do want to try vary things up a bit where possible, because it just makes it a bit different to a standard Let's Play, maybe. I don't know, I've not really watched much Let's, let's Plays of the actual Grand Prix of Mario Kart. Most of the content I watch is just online stuff, because... That seems to be the only stuff people do um, in like a lot of... Because I like watching really long videos just because I don't have to change it for ages. And I always run out of videos to watch. So, this is just not fair. We got hit by so many items in a row, we've got taken down to third. If I have to retry one of the cups in 100cc, I will be extremely surprised. Right, this is an item we haven't had before in this let's play. It's the Piranha Plan. Every time it eats, you get a small boost. You can use the item button and just spam it to do a lot of eating. But if you don't want to, you can just leave it and say there's a coin or an item that comes past, it will automatically eat them. Thought I would have been able to get to that boost panel in time, but I wasn't, unfortunately. But I think we should still be able to get first, even though, even despite that little mishap we had at the start of map 2. And there we go, that will be our first place. Our third race is of course Bone Dry Dunes, which isn't too interesting of a stage I would say. But all the stages are good in this game, so that doesn't matter. Just it's less interesting, I would say, than some others. Can you go away, Yoshi? I want to win this one. Because I don't want to have to retry it. And I would be surprised, well, I will be surprised, if I end up having to redo any of these 100cc episodes for reasons to do with failing to get triple star. Because I don't think I should have to. 150cc, mirror and 200. I might do, but even 150 I don't think I will. I don't know though, I guess we'll find out when I get on to it. Seem to be doing quite good so far though, because we've got quite a big lead on Yoshi I would say, so I think we're going to be fine. And a red shell comes. Just my luck. But it looks like we should be able to win this one really easily. But unlike the last one, we nearly, well, we could have theoretically not got the first. If I say what happened at the end of lap two and the start of lap three, if that happened at the start, well, the end of the race, then I probably wouldn't get first. But I'm hoping that won't happen in this playthrough at all. Except maybe in online, because that always happens. The only problem I have with online is 
the matchmaking is brilliant um, and also if you don't have brilliant internet which I don't my internet's pretty bad I would say um, if your internet's not amazing you're gonna get hit by items that you can't even see quite often or at least I do like I'll literally be driving along no warnings look behind me absolutely nothing and then out of nowhere I just get hit by an item and then I'm suddenly in like fifth when I was in like third or whatever or even worse because quite often online because it's not CPU based everyone's just in a big pack together it can happen to where you get hit by an item you're in first and you go all the way down to last which can be very annoying and that especially happens in games where you don't have the full 12 people or at least I find it does. Our third race is Bowser's Castle which should be a fairly easy one. I'd say this course is one of the easiest in the game. It just... Like, it doesn't look simple but for some reason it's really simple and really easy to win on for whatever reason or at least I find that. Like, in 200cc I always find that there's only certain courses that I will lose on like fairly regularly and this isn't one of them but because maybe the CPUs go the wrong route on this and get hit by Bowser's fist or whatever I don't know though but the course that comes after this I find difficult on 200cc which, as you will all know, it's Rainbow Road. And it's literally, the only thing I find difficult about it is the first little corner loop thing, whatever it is. I just find it really hard to turn on that without getting too much speed up, because you have to drift, or you're just going to have to go really, really slow, which you don't want to do. And blue shell. Yeah, but if you go too slow, you don't want to do that. And then, if you drift, you end up getting a purple boost because of the length of the corner. And then you go flying off the edge and die. And then obviously people will overtake you. Because the CPUs are just taught to drive the lines. Not stick to a certain speed. I don't think. Well, they obviously have to stick to a certain speed, but they're not like us where you can't, like, fully, completely decide what speed you are. Like, you can't hold A to certain different pressures to not go as fast. And you can't just not drift, because then it's way too difficult to go around the corner. Like, if I don't drift on this corner, I have to... I'll do it on this one, it's just... Like, say you want it to go tight, you barely even can, and it takes ages to go around. And that loops, like... Say you've got three th sides of a square that are all perpendicular to each other. Just not going to be easy to go around without drifting. So yeah, that's my little rant about why I don't like Rainbow Road. I don't like... I don't really like any of the rainbow roads in this game, to be honest. Like the SNES rainbow road, I don't think they should have remade it in this game, as any other track could have gone there, and that track was remade in the previous game, before this, meaning Mario Kart 7, not Mario Kart 8. And then, N64, as I've mentioned a lot, they just turned it down to one lap, which I think is a lot worse. Now here's the track I've been talking about in the last race, it was Rainbow Road. And I'll be able to show you the corner I don't like. I don't think 100cc is enough speed to make it. Oh, I don't like it. But if I try to go around it without drifting, it just doesn't work very well. Because you still end up getting a boost, and in 200cc that's enough to kill you. Or at least I think it is. We'll obviously find that out in like episodes. I don't know what episode it will be. 
long time in the future. Let me think. I think it might be episode 52. I don't know if that's correct. But I think episode 52 might be 200cc special cup. So, yeah, whenever that is. Which is obviously a long time, because this is like. This is episode 16. So, still a long way off 52. And a long way off the start of 200cc. So, yeah. Anyway, I think I can drift around this corner in Rocking Blood without dying. Yeah, I can. I think 150 is when it starts getting a little bit dangerous, and then 200 is when you just die. I'll probably, by then, by the time I record 200cc, or at least the 200cc special cup, probably will have found a way to not die every time I take that corner. I think what I might do for like practice is just go into VS Race on 200cc, hard CPU, everything like that. Um, choose whatever character or cat I want, set it to 48 races and choose and just choose Rainbow Road 48 times. And then I'll probably get used to that corner because that's... Well there's three laps, I'm doing this, I was going to say I'm doing this corner 48 times but I'm not, I'm doing it three times that. So, a lot of times. Can't be bothered to work that out at the moment but yeah it's a lot. Whatever 96 plus 48 is, 144 I think. So yeah, 144 times. If I do that, I'll probably get used to the course a lot. I might do that with every course actually in 200 C, just 200 CC. Just get really good, or at least better at all the courses. Not necessarily really good, because I wouldn't say I'm even good at the game to be honest. Because in online I don't win very often. That could be just my internet though. Who knows? Or it could be my ability to play the game. Anyway, that was the races, so now let's go get the trophy. And here's our trophy. We've got three stars once again and a new vehicle customization option has been unlocked which is nice but that'll be it for this episode so i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like down below thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye